I'm going to do a series on big fat lies. The uh, this is about the um, diet, fat, heart uh, risk uh, theory, and the hormonal heart uh, risk theory. Um, <clears throat> the first time this term fat, big fat lie was used in this area was uh, with Gary Taubes uh, back in '02. He did a uh, editorial for the New York Times Magazine. What if it's all been a big fat lie? Taubes did um, Good Calories, Bad Calories, and several other books espousing the um, diet, uh, the hormonal theory. This was in direct opposition to Ansel Keys, and he talks about Ansel Keys several times. Ansel Keys was the most influential scientist. He was, a, uh, in terms of the U.S. Um, DA, my plate recommendations. Uh, Dr. Keyes was at the University of Minnesota back in the 50s and 60s, and he had, he, he believed what's called the, um, the heart, the diet heart risk theory. He published a study called the Seven Countries Study. Hopefully I'll get a chance to re review that, but that'll be in another video. Just the basics of it were, it was funding that he got, $200,000 in 1956 uh, dollars from the U.S. Uh, government to do a study on countries, looking at the amount of animal fat in the uh, diets of those countries and the heart risk. Um, that, again, led to... Uh, things like my plate, the uh, recommendations from the uh, U.S. Department of Agriculture regarding what to eat. And for the longest time, as you will remember, uh, animal fat was uh, not recommended. In fact, it's still not recommended. Now, <clears throat> this uh, term fat lie in this uh, debate was used again recently with, uh, and this headline is from... Um, February 26th of 2018, Health Impact News. Basically, this is about a, an article written by Christopher Ramsden and published in the, um, in the British Medical Journal. This was an interesting article. Um, again, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time reviewing that article right now. We'll just go over some uh, basics. British Medical Journal, uh, April of 2016. And here it is, reevaluation of the traditional diet heart uh, hypothesis, analysis of recovered data from the Minnesota Car Coronary Experiment, 1968 to 1973. Um, does this ring any bells? Uh, Minnesota, this was coming from the University of Minnesota, right after that time that we talked about Ansel Keys being there. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on this article. This is a Scientific American article which basically uh, covers what happened with the, uh, what Dr. Ramston did and uh, what he found when he did that reanalysis study. Um, <clears throat> Basically, he took raw data. It was an interesting study. It's, uh, they described him as being like the Indiana Jones of um, dietary research. They found a bunch of um, old IBM cards in one of the researchers' basements, reanalyzed some data, and came up with some very surprising results. I'll cover that uh, a little bit later. Um, <clears throat> Thank you for your attention.